It's time for another episode of women being held accountable and hating every second of it. Ah, uh, but this episode is going to be a little bit different because this time we got a male in the mix. We got a guy in here that's going to be held accountable by the queen of accountability herself. I know the women have been asking for it. They've been waiting for it and y'all are about to get it. So let's get started. I know y'all have been enjoying this new series on the channel. So as requested by you all, I have made a playlist. This is episode three. Let's go. So this first post here that Daphne pulled from Facebook starts with the woman saying, I swear them fast food workers be the boldest. I'm always approached by men that work minimum wage jobs. When will a CEO or a broker or a high level executive approach me? So she's tired of dealing with the broke dudes that work in the fast food joints. She wants somebody with some money to come talk to her. All right, let's see how this goes. Daphne quickly comes into the mix. She responds, when you make CEO slash broker or high level executive money, you're a waitress at IHOP. Date your wage. <laughs> Bro, these women be killing me, man. They be wanting these high value, high income earning men when a good majority of them don't be that themselves. Look right here. This is her Facebook page. She works at IHOP. <laughs> well, I mean, if you if you don't date your wage, you go sit down somewhere. Hmm. You've been thinking about taking better care of your skin, but you have no idea where to start. Look no further. I got the answer for you. Teach Henley. This is what I've been using for the past three years to make my skin look as good as it does for a 36 year old man. I know I don't look like it, but hey, you know, <laughs> you feel me? Anyway, I recommend y'all start with that level one system that gives you everything that you need and nothing that you don't. Inside you get the daily face wash, you get an AM moisturizer with SPF 20. You also get a PM moisturizer to keep your face hydrated throughout the night. And my favorite, the two times per week exfoliating scrub to get all that dirt build up and grime out of your pores. Now I know having a skincare regimen as a man doesn't seem like a must. I used to think the same way too, but I cannot begin to express just how much my confidence has improved now that my skin has cleared up. And if you can't take my word for it, head over there to their website. They got over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers all around the world. And because you're watching this video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click that link down below and you get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Click that link right now and get started today. Should mean that you should be putting yourself in a position to be a high income earner. Gosh. Oh man, y'all are gonna love this story. Y'all are gonna get a kick out of this one. So this is a woman. She says, I stopped by a McDonald's to get a, oh, here we go with the fast food joints again. I stopped by a McDonald's to get a quick bite on this rainy day. I pulled in the drive-through and it's packed four cars in front of me. Then a woman pulls in behind me. I ordered and after the car in front moved up a little, I moved up. The woman behind me was now at the speaker. I could hear her kids yelling, they want a caramel sundae. The mom tells them to be quiet and she orders two Happy Meals, then tells them she couldn't afford to get the sundaes. The kids started screaming. I was able to move up to the first window to pay. I asked the cashier to add two caramel sundaes to my order and please give it to the woman behind me. She smiles and says, how sweet of me. There was still two cars in front of me. I then moved up and there is one car in front now. I started hearing honking. I reached my hand out to tell the woman, no problem. Finally, I get to the second window and the lady says the mom refused the ice cream and said she didn't need my charity. Wow. I look back and she said out loud, keep your funky ass ice cream. Shake my head. Proof you can't make them happy even if you do a good deed. I have a son and I've been there before. I understand the passport movement now. Love that she left that comment about understanding the passport movement now, because this is what a lot of us men are having to deal with. These nasty women with these unnecessary nasty attitudes, these entitled attitudes. Here's a woman that tried to do something kind, tried to do something nice for another woman in need, only to have received the response that was full of disrespect. 
talk about I don't need your charity and take back your funky ass ice cream. No, take back your funky ass attitude. This person, I'm assuming a woman, responds. I'm with the mom on this. What? First off, you was ear hustling. The terms they be making up, ear hustling. She didn't make a dime off of trying to help this woman. So hustling clearly isn't a word that you understand. Um, when, <laughs> when you should be minding your business. Second, she didn't ask for your help. Nor does a person when you're walking up to a door and you open the door for them to let them in first, they don't ask for your help either. But it doesn't change the fact that it's a kind gesture, right? She says, last, she is right. You treated her like a charity case. She don't need your help. These are different times. These are different times. Charity would have been had she helped this woman be in a position to where now this woman can afford to get her kids some Sundays at McDonald's. That would have been charity. How are you going to be entitled for somebody else entitled ass? She continues. We mothers are built to handle problems without y'all help. No, it takes a village. I know single mothers right now that wish they were receiving some help from the fathers of their kids. Got to be kidding me. She says, we make good money. We don't need yours. Clearly, that woman did need the money. If she made good money, how come she couldn't afford to buy her kids some a dollar ninety nine Sundays at Dango McDonald's. Oh my God, Daphne <laughs> quickly comes into the chat with the caps, bunch of caps. Responding to this girl here that's taken up for the woman that posted this post, she says you needed it back in February for the Rolling Loud tickets, though. Uh oh, you didn't mind being a charity case then. Uh oh, what was that good money then? Yeah, what's she saying? What's she talking about? Back in February, this woman posted, Rolling Loud is in a week. My birthday is in two. Who gonna contribute to my tickets? Here's my cash app. Supposed to be making all this big money, but yet you can't afford tickets to a concert. This woman gonna get on here preaching about women not needing to be charity cases when she was one herself. <laughs> Talk about she make good money, but yet she can't afford them Rolling Loud tickets. My God. Uh, maybe and maybe she could afford them tickets let's give her the benefit of the doubt because we know how some of these women can be on the internet this ain't something dudes do i see women posting their cash apps online all the time begging and asking people for some money but you don't see dudes do that i've never seen a man get on facebook or instagram and be like here's my cash app my birthday's coming up send me some money or I'm, I'm trying to go to this event. Send me some money. You never see that. But women know that they got plenty of guys on the internet that's thirsting after them that would do it. Fellas, don't send these women a dime. Content isn't available. She deleted that mess. All right, we got another one here. Let's see what this is. It says, I'm leaving the club with my brothers and this female brushes up against me as we walked out. She appeared to be drunk, so I let it go. Sounds like this is coming from a guy right now. We walk into the whips and she screams out. He tried to grab my breasts. Uh oh, here we go. Another one of these cases. We stopped in our tracks and turned back and she pointed at me. I died right there because I knew that was a bold faced lie. Some of the patrons come out and tell the bouncer to stop us. I didn't move and the bouncer yells out. This is the third time you tried this stunt, Brianna. Uh-oh. <laughs> you are banned from the club. She dumb. How you gonna keep trying to pull the same stunt in the same place and think everybody gonna fall for it over and over again? Oh my God. He then told us we can go. PTSD is real, fellas. That was in June and I still get anxious when I'm asked to go to a club. Shit really up for real for real just like it did to the last guy in the last episode when these women be yelling out these false allegations they just don't know what they be doing to these men when they do this mess i would be too anxious anytime somebody asked me to go to a club or bar or lounge what if that was the first or only the second time where she tried to pull a stunt like that 
and something actually did happen to this young man. He got lucky this time. But let's see what Facebook has to say about it. Top contributor. This woman says, any man that types in all caps is aggressive. This didn't happen. You're trying to make women look bad. All men are predators. You know what this yells out to me? Hurt that this woman is in pain. She said all men are predators, which we all know isn't true. She's hurt. She says it only f you up because you got caught. guy responds back I always type in all caps you are disgusting thanks for letting 115,000 people know that you support women who lie exactly great response my guy Heck, I got male friends that type in all caps I don't think nothing of it that's just how they want to type <laughs> just, that don't mean that they are aggressive even though usually people depict all caps as being a sign of aggression or yelling or anger. But at the end of the day, there are just letters. They're just a capitalized version of a lowercase letter. Read it. As long as it's legible, you'll be all right. Gosh. Then this woman continues. I don't support men looking for attention, but yet this is what you're doing. Where is the evidence that this occurred? Men bump us at clubs on purpose to get a feel. That's how I know you a lie. <laughs> How is somebody bumping up against you to get a feel is a tall tale sign that this man is telling a lie. Now I'm going to share this fake story in this group I'm in warning women to steer clear of you. Go ahead and do that because they probably going to be thinking otherwise. They probably going to be thinking they need to steer clear of your crazy butt. We're going to wait for this. Um. Is siren the pass? It's almost gone. There we go. She continues, you're a predator. Stop looking for sympathy from some shit that never happened. She continues, you look she continues, you're a predator. Stop looking for sympathy for some shit that never happened. How are you gonna tell somebody unless it's blatantly clear that something didn't happen? Usually, even through text, you can tell if something is real or fake. Most of the time, Daphne joins the mix. She says, hello, just wanted to confirm you did share this to another group, putting him at risk. You don't have to believe his story, but to share this elsewhere and lie on him is wrong. That's actually defamation. I also noticed you love Cardi B and did you forget what she admitted to? This woman posted this, this picture of Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, the song that they did together. She says, my new anthem, is it weird I play it every day? Cardi B is fire. You like Cardi B that much? Tells a lot about you, I'm telling you that right now. The woman responds back to Daphne, I can like whoever I want. Cardi B only said that to promote her album and no one came forward. What did she just say? Did y'all hear? Did y'all hear what I just heard? Does she support liars, right? Y'all heard that too, right? She says Cardi only said that to promote her album. So you're going to support someone that said that they did some heinous things to men, things that jeopardized their life? You support that? What Cardi said is way worse than the story that this young man told here. So you support people as long as they're women that are doing horrible things. Gotcha, gotcha. And did she, <laughs> look, talk about all caps. She says, no one came forward. That was aggressive. And yes, I posted it in three groups to be exact. It's not defamation dummy. It's my opinion. He lied for attention and I hope he loses it all. Wow. To Daphne, good morning, Miss Ford Sutton. We are truly sorry for the delay in our response time. This email serves as a summary to our phone conversation today. We spoke to regarding the conclusion of the da -da 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 investigation initiated by your complainant received on 11 8 23 
your complainant da, 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 acted inappropriate online. There was a full investigation and next steps have been identified. Due to privacy considerations, we are not able to share confidential information with you about our employees, which includes specific actions taken with blah, 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 blah. All of the marked out sections are the names of this person that she was talking to on Facebook. However, as a result of this investigation, we can assure you the company has taken immediate and appropriate corrective action designed to stop this type of behavior. We appreciate you bringing this matter to the company's attention. We take these matters very serious. Please advise the company immediately if you have any further concerns about this matter. The company is committed to strict enforcement of its non-harassment and anti-retaliation policy. Please let us know if you have any further questions. Sincerely, whomever this was. Mm, see? See, Daphne went on ahead and reported this person to HR, <laughs> to their HR, and they dealt with her. All right, ladies, this is what y'all been waiting for. <laughs> All right, so this one is a guy. He puts on Facebook, this lady, why y'all be tricking us men with them trainers? Talk about them waist trainers. Real question. I met this woman off a dating app, right? I met her at Benny Hunters, right? <laughs> and we eating and talking, it's all good. I told her I was paying, we eating. <laughs> and she started moving a lot in her seat and shit, right? I asked her, what's good? She tell me, hold on. She go to the bathroom and come out minutes later bigger. <laughs> she was shaped like the number eight at first, but came out shaped like the number O. <laughs> Oh my God, this this man is stupid, bro. Where, where he went to school at over here typing like this? This is kind of aggravating. Um, it continues. I didn't know. I didn't know what to say. I play it off and say I gotta use it too. Only I left out that and and left her with the two hundred dollar bill for tricking me. I had to block a bunch of numbers because she kept calling me late. I get it, dog. I get it. You know, yeah, a lot of these women be out here with these waist trainers on, be trying to make their waist look snatched or more snatched than it actually is. If that was your only reason for getting up and leaving out the restaurant and, and, and leaving her there with the bill, then you just as bad as they are, bro. You just as bad. Because if the conversation was good, if it was going smooth, I could see if you had decided in your mind, you know what, I, I ain't going to deal with her know it up no more but had it been me i would have sat there i would have continued to enjoy the food heck i probably would have even continued to pay the bill for the two of us and then later on i would have been like you know what uh i'm not really feeling her i know me it would have went one or two ways i would have either depending on how that night went the conversation went you know what i'm saying i might have given her the courtesy of telling her you know what I'm, I'm not interested you know i don't think this is gonna go anywhere best of luck to you or i might have just ignored her you know what i'm saying just not text her again not had a follow-up after that date it just depends on a few things right but i wouldn't have did it like that just just it's gonna leave that woman there to, to pay for that bill herself. She don't even know what the heck going on, dog. She don't even know why you did that. All right, let's see what Daphne got to say about it. Daphne says, "You offered to pay and leave her with the bill because she took off her trainer. You could have finished the date like a man, right? And told her the truth. Exactly. Leaving her with the bill is a coward move. You need to take your ass back to school. I got a headache reading this." The guy responds back. Uh oh, let's let's see how a guy responds back to Daphne. Damn, Daphne, you in this? <laughs> I follow you on the gram. I ain't even gonna say nothing back, cause I know you ran my shit. Don't I figured you say that to me? <laughs> I will unblock and send her half right now. Give me a chance though. I gotta get her CA first. Cash app. Gotta get her cash app first. Somebody responded back. <laughs> Talking about you playing. Daphne responds back. Low key weird. Y'all think I really dox folks for stuff like this? You didn't disrespect me. You disrespected her. Whether you send the money to her or not, you wrong for leaving her with the bill. Don't cap because I'm in this group. Guy responds back, no cap over here, Daphne. I was wrong. And he showed where he sent his half for the bill. Then he responds back, I'm deleting this. <laughs> 
Oh my God. But you know there's something here and I can hear y'all thoughts right now. I hear y'all thinking about it. The way he responded to Daphne taking accountability for what he did, seeing his wrong, addressing it, fixing the issue to the best that he could by sending this woman half of that bill. The way he responded to Daphne is different than how these women tend to respond to Daphne. They let their pride get in the way of them being a better person. They let their ego block any potential new blessing that they can obtain from this experience. Shout out to this young man. He wrong for what he did, but shout out to him for doing what he could to make it better. Even though he did it because he was scared of Daphne. <laughs> Daphne for president 2024. Don't mess with her. Don't mess with her. I'm telling y'all. Okay, let's see what this is here. This woman says, it's effing 2023. When will men understand that if you date the mom and she has kids, you have to win them over too? Okay. If you don't make enough, stay the f out of my inbox. The entitlement, okay? This is why we stay single because men don't know how to act. <laughs> Oh, trust me, that's not why y'all stay single. Oh, okay. Um, before you message me, show me a pay stub. <sighs> I have conversations with men and men that make good money, right? Six figures or more a year. And they all say the same thing. When women say stuff like this, when women put how much money a man makes before love and the ability to love that man, all of them feel like, no, these women don't love us. They love money. They don't care nothing for us. They care about our money. Oh, man. She continues after she says, before you message me, show me a pay stub. To the men who make enough, me and my kids are a package deal, period, point blank. Daphne destroys her with the one-liner. Return to sender. <laughs> Your package deal, right? Let me return this package. I don't need this package. I know that's right. I know that's right. Oh, look, nothing else. We don't need nothing else from this post. Daphne just destroyed her. Off of one reply. I'm telling you, man, these women be hating Daphne. This one here. She says, you pickled pick me. That's what she calls Daphne. <laughs> you a uh, pickled pick me. Daphne responds back, you're not picked though. <laughs> you got kids, no man around. If you close your mouth, you would have been picked already. Instead, you're the last picked of the litter. <laughs> Heal. <laughs> ah, yo, what is she talking about? What is she talking about? Okay, here go a picture of the woman. <laughs> 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 no, she did it. No, she did it. Oh, Daphne. What? Why you do her like that? She, she'll look that bad. Come on now. Oh, the brows. The brows and the hair are the same. Good God. Oh, my goodness. Daphne, you're, you're something else. See, this is another post of a woman hating no the queen of accountability. This woman, because of that Rada, y'all remember the break girl with the face? She says, reported your page, ho. <laughs> Rada did nothing to you. Didn't speak bad on you, but you continue to harass her and make it hard for her to go outside and enjoy life. Daphne Sutton, we are helping her get you. <laughs> your husband hates you. <laughs> And once Rhonda. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, the mess they be coming up with. What make it so bad is they will spew this nonsense on the internet and they believe their own BS. She says, your husband hates you and wants Rhonda because you're not it anymore. Your website will be shut down. Mentalhealth2011.com based in Chicago. We have it all. You're jealous of Rhonda and it shows. 
it's not her fault your mama died why they always got to use that weak mess man this is what we talk about when we say women are worse with their words than men are because a man he, he will only go so far with his words before he's ready to get fiscal but a woman she will try to say the most hurtful things she possibly can and a lot of these women come after the fact that daphne mother is no longer alive how would they feel if somebody said that about their own mother she says you did not get guidance from her so stop taking it out on rada she was assaulted by i'm assuming a man and you attacked her why if you're a black woman you are ugly we hate everything about you since you sell shirts put your face on one crying because she is taking all your money man for one what the heck did this chick go to school man you already don't know how to form sentences the correct way and her punctuations are non-existent god this is aggravating she need to go back to grade school where was i she says you will be so broke you will wish your mom was alive so you can cry to her all right daphne is about to respond i'm sure i should be able to read this one no problem y'all don't know how many times i had to stop and reread and, and try to understand i'm seeing punctuations here i ain't even read this yet all right <laughs> daphne starts off with the sad emoji this wasn't smart of you to threaten me especially when you live at ingram square apartments in san antonio you're on section eight talking like this to me <laughs> do they know you're a lash tech i saved 49 client photos from october you charge a minimum of 125 for natural and 140 for hybrid right you must make less than 80 percent of the minimum household income to qualify for section 8 housing in san antonio you made over 6k last month Sounds like you're not reporting your income, sweetheart. I wonder what will happen when I send this to the Texas State Auditor Office. Find out on the next episode of I Figured You Would Say That. <laughs> it was so much easier for me to read that than that last thing on paragraph from that woman. Goodness gracious. What happens next? Well, the woman tries to call Daphne. Miss call. She didn't answer. She tries to call again. Miss call. Didn't answer. She texts Daphne name twice. Daphne responds. Daphne is unavailable at the moment. She is busy holding someone accountable for threats. Please try back in two to four business hours. <laughs> That's a different kind of low. I didn't know that there were people out here that were abusing Section 8 when they were actually decent income earners themselves. And they're still trying to live off of Section 8 so they can pay the, the least amount possible. Oh, that's a different kind of low because there's people that actually need Section 8. But y'all, make sure y'all go give the queen a follow. I will have her link down below. But anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions. And I will catch y'all in the next one. See ya.